Hi folks, welcome back to the amazing education station. It's got the information you need to know, along with not interesting video because, well, uh, it's just about the information it's for listening to. So you can just ignore the boring video. <laughs> yeah, so now today's topic is um, don't overspend. Uh, basically, if you want to have financial freedom and not worry so a lot of people the number one hobby can you guess what the number one hobby is in the united states in terms of spending hmm i believe it's gardening because you know what it's good exercise i do encourage it but what what are we overspending on maybe cutting the grass every week making the grass look like a uniform one kind of plant thing which is not necessary and you're probably putting poisonous chemicals on there to achieve that so well all of you people out there poisoning the lawns okay wonderful uh it's not wonderful you're poisoning wildlife you're also um getting the poison chemicals into the water table so do you ever wonder why we have more and more cancer in this planet it's all the freaking chemicals we keep on producing and using don't think it's just going to stay there it's going to evaporate it's going to drip down and somebody can tell you oh it decomposes within 24 hours it just kills the weeds doesn't do anything else now you don't know when it's going to rain you don't know what animal is going to be on the grass getting poisoned. They can tell you whatever they like, but believe me, it's chemical. They're putting chemicals on the grass. Number one. Number two, cutting the grass. Most people are using gasoline. That's polluting. It's like cancer causing. Okay. Maybe even much, much worse up to 10 times as much pollution comes out of a lawnmower as comes out of a regular car so consider that and plus you're spending a lot of money for the equipment for the gasoline for the oil and then you know also polluting the entire planet atmosphere so think about all these things we need to get back to grass that doesn't need to be cut or you could have, did you know that sheep and lambs, <laughs> they eat grass. There are other things that eat grass. Goats. There are places where the yards are fenced and then there's an animal that takes care of the grass. So consider that also. And uh, you don't need to cut the grass every week. Now you can let it go for two weeks. And certain kind of grass, you let it grow and it won't actually grow very long. So it might be time to just replace the grass, get rid of what you have and switch over to a grass that just doesn't grow very long. There are several varieties. And so it doesn't grow very long. So you don't cut it at all. And what happens, it doesn't end up patchy. So the problem with some grasses, maybe most grasses, if you don't cut it, it will grow in clumps and like tall grass will shade other spots and then it might get patchy or bumpy or something like that. And then you might have like little dirt patches, but who knows until you try it. And um, you know, maybe choose a section of lawn that you don't cut and uh, that's not gonna grow weeds. Or you could just perhaps maybe cut cut once or twice a month or my, yeah, cut it down to not very short. So you're just catching weeds that are growing and that might be enough. 